<laughs> Hi guys, uh, this is Tokyo I have a new video and, um, well, a vloggy video in quite a while actually, um, it's been a while, um, I just thought that I'd make a video for the past few that I made before were all of my own things when I was going through a tough time and, um, dealing with my eating disorder for as long. And, um, currently I'm trying to go into recovery and I'm really hoping this works. It's been a really big struggle and, um, I've had some slips. Um, so I've been worried about it. Like, if I go into recovery, am I going to go back? Am I going to be okay for, like, five, six months and all of a sudden go back downhill? That's what I'm worried about. I don't want to, you know, I... Um, when recovery for like three months and I gained weight and I was okay with it and then about a week or two later settled in that I gained weight and I went right back on hill. And then after all those years when I was 13, um, no, I was 14 and I was underweight and, um, I was working recovery. It took me like five, six years but I fell right back into it. Call it back into um I, I relapsed and uh, I don't want to do that again. But I don't know. Like I, I still have the thoughts and everything, but you know, I'm only a week. I'm only like a week or two into recovery. So it's it's really scary, and especially knowing that I have a job now and that I have people that I know that care for me. I, I stay with here at my house. <laughs> Until, um, I have enough money to save up for my own place. Right now I'm saving up for a car that's not a gas hogger. <laughs> and then, um, after I'm done with that, then, um, I'll be, uh, saving up for my own place because I actually am, um, paying for my own car by myself. I worked really hard to get it and I'll be working hard to get into school and my own place. So I'm really excited about that. And, you know, it's kind of really supportive. Functions really help me through everything. Like, my parents are really supportive. I'll give them updates. I'll put little pictures up and, you know, little notes to remind me that I'm beautiful. You know, I don't see it and that I'm not that. But, you know, you know, even as I'm making the video, I'm like, oh, my arms are huge. Oh, I've got this double tan and it's just so hard. And I remember I had an angle where it's pointing up, so of course whatever's up here is going to be exposed. And my arms aren't fat and muscular from work. And I keep trying to remind myself of that, and it's very hard. Um, but I'm just trying to take it a step at a time. And I've got a lot of people that care for me, and I don't know what I'm doing with that. And, um, I really don't know what to say, I just think I can make a video, but you guys know that I'm okay. Now there is hope, recovery is possible, you just have to really, really want it. So, I'm going to some meetings. Um, I'll be, uh, I've been going to some AA meetings, but it was because my boyfriend, his mom, um, is a recovering alcoholic, and, um, she's been recovered for, like, almost a year. And, uh, she invited me to go to meetings because I, I went ahead and told her, but, um, sorry for moving around. Uh, I went ahead and told her about everything, you know. I just, I don't know. I just felt comfortable around her, so it was like, look, this is what I've been going through. And she was actually really supportive. And she invited me to go to, uh, one of the meetings. And I went and I told my story. I was like, look, hi, I'm Kristen. I'm not an alcoholic. I don't have a drug problem. I don't do drugs and I don't like drinking. Not that, I meant, I just, I don't like it. My dad is a binge drinker. So, I've, and you know, I've seen my dad and my brother win physical fights before. So drinking has never been my thing. So, um, I don't really like it and drugs. It ruined my brother's life. It ruined my life. Um, I don't like them, so, um, anyway, so I went in there and I 
I'm not an alcoholic, I don't have a problem with drugs, and, but I do have an eating disorder, and in a sense, it's like an addiction because you do a job. And they're going to starve, and you'll starve yourself, and starve yourself, and starve yourself. And then, you know, you'll binge and purge, and then your first thought was about it. Oh my god, I'm hungry, I have to eat all of this, all of this, all of this. It's like, you get a rush from eating, and then you feel so guilty afterwards that you've got to throw it all up, and it controls your life. So the difference between alcoholism and an eating disorder is you have to have food to survive. You don't have to have alcohol to survive. So the coping is really, really hard. But I kind of explain to them how an eating disorder is similar to, you know, alcohol addiction and any addiction really, because it is an addiction as well as a disease. It's an illness. And, you know, some people just can't help but fall into that. Like, I didn't think I was. I thought that I was going to be okay. I thought that I had this under control. So that was not made healthy because someone told me that. They're like, oh, so you like so-and-so. And I'm like, yeah. They're like, so I guess he likes those kind of girls. And I'm just like, what kind of girls? He's like, you know, fat, chubby ones. And right off the bat, I'm like, ouch. That sunk in deep because I have always, I mean, I knew that I was overweight, but just to hear it from someone else just crushed me because my ex stepfather used to call me fat all the time. I'd be at the dinner table and he'd be like, oh, you're going to eat that cupcake? Yeah, you're going to have diabetes, blah, 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 blah. And he'd just like go on and on and on and on and on. I'm not going to get into full detail because it's, I've been through a traumatic path, so. It really has got into my addiction with my eating disorder and everything. But, um, anyway, basically, it messed me up. And I thought that I had everything down packed. I thought I was going to be okay. I was working out. I was eating right. And I started getting on the scale. I was like, well, I've lost three pounds this week. So that's good. Let's lose more. I began eating less and less. And when I started to eat, like I felt like I ate an overwhelming amount, I'd throw up. And next thing you know, two months later, I was 40 pounds lighter, and I was already so heavily into my eating disorder. Like, if I were to show you all of my previous vlogs and everything, you'd say, yeah, I'm losing weight, see, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, they stopped. Because there was no longer an obsession with losing weight and no longer exciting to lose weight. It was my life. My life became losing weight. And no matter how much weight I lost, even though they said that they threatened me with feeding too because I got so small, I still wanted to lose weight. It's just that dangerous. <laughs> like all of these people glamorize eating disorders like they're a big, magical, wonderful thing and they're not. They're deadly. They suck. You wake up in the morning and you think you've got it under control. You think you have it under control. You think that it's in your life that you're like, oh, psh, yeah, right. I, I'm in control. I can be all like, hey, I'm going to starve myself for a week. And, you know, hey, cool, yeah. You know, go through all these senses, these pro anemia senses, but you say, oh, yeah, I'm anorexic. I can lose weight. I guaranteed you'll be just like us. It'll start off where you think you're in control, and the next thing you know, you really do have a problem. Because you can't stop losing weight. You cannot stop. And it's not because you want to be thin. You want some kind of control. You need control. Because sometimes, maybe it's not even revolving around your past. Maybe you had an awesome past. You never had abusive parents, or you've never been through trauma, but for some reason, you don't feel in control. And you take control. And you just put it on your weight, and you just, I don't know, I'm ranting, but I get, I want to get better. I really want to get better. I'm, I'm so, I'm so tired of my life being revolved around food because I know now I am not in, I am not in control. I do have a problem. And I'm really hoping I do not relapse. But if, if I do, if I relapse, then I'm going to continue to try to get better because, I mean, if I have to go to outpatient treatment 
or inpatient treatment, which I really don't want to do, I will do it because I want to get better. And I might not be thinking that in the next month. I might think, oh, well, I'm back downhill. I don't want to, I, I want to lose weight again. You just never know. Bad, bad way. Who knows? I'm sorry I ranted. I never really wanted to rant. I'm ranting to a camera. I'm staring at myself and like, oh, I look awful. So, <laughs> anyway, um, that's the big changes. I'm not sitting off, but that's the big change that I've been doing. So, okay.